it's fantastic that the uh, National Gallery is selecting pieces and showing them to uh, people as examples of where work is going. This work is called Myriad Island and it's a made-up island that I created as part of a residency at the Rooms Provincial Art Gallery in Newfoundland. Uh, I brought together a group of people and we went on expeditions and they created like a new mythology of a place and this is the island that they created and that I then drew. Just to bring all these artists together in one exhibition is honor them in this way is really amazing. I keep saying it like I'm not one of the artists in the exhibition because it's just like I said it just feels really surreal at the moment. But this piece here is called Phantom Limbs and it was based on the Haida repatriation project and that piece is called A Brief History of North Coast Design is where I told the history of uh, our art form is a mirror of the, the history of colonialism in British Columbia. I love the fact that there are so different, so many different voices that uh, come together and really um, showcase, you know, what what moves us, you know, as young artists and not so young artists, <laughs> um, and what uh, what we're trying to share with people, you know, as a as a visual voice. The work is called Shadows for Humans, and. Um, I'm interested in the shadows. People always think of them as, um, as something two-dimensional, and I think they're not, they're three-dimensional. Uh, this work is, is really playing with that idea and, uh, and making it a, an experience with you, you know, where you walk through them and become an object among objects. And that's sort of, that encounter is a fascinating moment that I want you to, to experience and hold. I feel very fortunate uh, to be in the Biennale. You know, there's only a certain number of works, and I'm sure the gallery collected um, quite a few works in the last two years. So it seems like I, you know, I'm in a, a small percentile of people that were included in the show. So I feel quite fortunate. Um, the work I made here is called uh, The Unfortunates of Darcy Island. A very kind of narrative driven piece about a Chinese Canadian leper colony off Vancouver Island. I'm very interested in that narrative and how it might parallel with um, socioeconomic spatial segregation in Vancouver especially. There's a history of that in, in, in BC and you know the leper colony is the most extreme and kind of grotesque version of it, but I think now in modern day there's more subtle forms of, of, of that kind of uh, socio-spatial segregation. Ah ben, je suis vraiment très, très contente d'être dans cette exposition-là, que je, je trouve que c'est une belle exposition. Il s'est très bien commissarié. Euh, et être dans la collection, ben c'est sûr que c'est une grande joie pour moi. J'avais déjà des pièces, maintenant il y en a d'autres qui s'ajoutent, des travaux plus récents. Les œuvres qui sont présentées dans l'exposition font partie d'une série qui s'appelle Underworld. C'est un travail assez récent. Euh, J'ai fait des prises de vue dans le Mississippi et dans un cimetière de bateaux. J'utilise une caméra que je mets dans un caisson aquatique et je vais dans des milieux pollués pour faire des photographies euh, environnementales. C'est donc une critique euh, de notre façon d'habiter de, 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 le monde, de notre façon de gérer les plans d'eau.